we haven't had a chance because of the, just the passage of time to uh, pay tribute to uh, uh, a, a team that achieved an, a championship uh, on our behalf uh, last year and uh, proudly so. And we're joined uh, this morning by the Toronto FC's uh, representatives as follows, General, Ma General Manager Tim Bezbachenko, Assistant General Manager Corey Ray, Head Coach Greg Vanny, and players Justin Morrow, Drew Moore, and Toronto's own Ashtone Morgan, and by some senior staff members from uh, the Toronto FC, and they have brought with them uh, the championship uh, trophy uh, that the city uh, is so excited that they uh, won after what was a magical 2017 uh, season. And I should tell you that uh, uh, once they've had a, p a chance to come up here and, and say a few words, uh, once uh, uh, Tim has, uh, we'll invite all of you who want to come up and have a picture taken with the, uh, with the uh, trophy to uh, come up and do that as well. But, you know, it's interesting to watch the evolution of that team. Um, and some of you will have had, had a chance to go to the games early on and go to the games now. And from the beginning, there was a spirited group of fans who marched their way from uh, Liberty Village down to the stadium and who had a spirit inside the stadium that was like almost nothing else we'd seen. Toronto sports ha fans have a reputation for being quite sedate uh, in terms of how they view uh, sports events. But starting from the beginning and going all the way through to this magnificent achievement of winning the uh, MLS Cup, uh, this team has excited Torontonians and their fans have excited the rest of the city, I think, at the same time. And, uh, you know, they frankly kept the excitement going uh, all the way through to the uh, finals of the CONCACAF, uh, Con CONCACAF uh, Champions League in April. And so on your behalf again, uh, this is our opportunity to formally uh, congratulate them. We had a rally out in the uh, square uh, right after the MLS championship. Uh, but this is a team that did us proud, and I want to say to Tim and his staff, they assembled a championship uh, caliber coaching staff and roster uh, to coach Greg. Um, obviously, he did the job of putting our Reds out uh, in a position to win, a match in and match out. Uh, and to the players, of course, because they outworked their opponents and they, uh, you know, they had some of those unbelievable games at the end of the season last year that took us uh, to, um, to the uh, championship. And uh, some of them are from Toronto, some are the Canadians, many are not. It doesn't matter. They're all part of our city and a part of what we honour. And I want to make sure that we extend our congratulations to two other groups of people, the support staff, who of course work behind the scenes to make sure that our team is prepared for every match, and the fans. Because as I mentioned, uh, those fans I think are different uh, than pro almost any other group of sports fans for Toronto teams. Uh, they are, uh, I think, uh, like, like the extra man on the field uh, as, as they say, and I think that uh, this was one of the most successful seasons in uh, Major League Soccer history by our team. Um, and the stadium was packed and uh, Seattle in the end was defeated. And uh, I got um, uh, some uh, smoked salmon from the mayor of Seattle. That was terrific too. I don't even know, you know, like happens in my office, these things come in from these bets and I never see them. They're just gone into some mystical place somewhere. But you know who else benefited, and this is important? The Toronto Daily Bread Food Bank benefited from that uh, friendly wager that we had with the mayor of Seattle when we defeated them uh, in the championship. So again, um, I want to just say uh, to you uh, congratulations and I want to thank you for coming here uh, to be with us today to have this kind of slightly more formal celebration. I know that you're battling hard and it's sometimes tough after a season like that to come back and do it again but uh, it's still early on and we know you're going to be able to do it again because you've got the right spirit and the right talent and you certainly have uh, the support of a city that loves uh, the Toronto FC and, and the Reds.